Welcome back to the Coaches Show. I'm Michael Watson, your host, and sitting to the left of me is the head is the head men's basketball coach, Coach Ben Wearsba. How you doing, Coach? I'm doing great, thanks. How's your break? It was good. It was good. We've had uh, about three or four days off here with the team, and, and then being able to get away, go home, and spend time with their family, and get rested and recuperated for the second half of the first semester. Can you? Uh, well, I currently you're 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 one and four right now overall as a team, and I was wondering maybe you can give us your thoughts of. So far, you, you know, of your overall impression of your team so far early in the season, and uh, you know, maybe just give us a little bit of recap of uh, you know of the first uh, five games so far in the season. Sure, um, we've played some tough teams. We're playing Northwood and Lake Superior State from the GLIAC. Played Lindenwood, who was twenty-seven and three last year, and Cedarville had won twenty-some ball games last year. And we've been close. We've been close. We've been ahead of. Uh, out of the five games, we've been ahead um, four of them in the second half, and we just got to find ways to finish games off. Um, but we've come a long ways. We're, we've made some improvements and, and excited where the rest of the season's going for us. You know, I haven't really had much time to talk to you about, about last season's exper uh, yeah. you know, experience you know, in, in the first round of the tournament. Can you just give me your overall uh, thoughts about the experience you guys had as a team last year? Yeah, last year, I think uh, once we came back from Christmas, we, the guys really got along and, and started playing well together. And I think that was the biggest thing was the team chemistry. Um, and when things started going the right way, things just kind of snowballed. And every time we took the court, you know, it was not hoping to win, it was you were expecting to win. And so once we got there, it ended a lot sooner than we wanted to, but uh, it was a great ride, and hopefully we can build off that from now until the rest of this, rest of this season. Well, I mean, it was a great you know, experience of actually televising it and uh, doing the play-by-play -play for it. It was an awesome season. And, uh, you know, you, you touched base on team chemistry, and I was wondering maybe you can give us – your overall thoughts of the team chemistry this year? Right, uh, we got a lot, we got five new faces from last year. Um, we got guys in different roles. You know, the seniors of West Dawson and Kyle Gupton and Kevin Pettiford, um, really setting the tone. Chase Brinkley, kind of just being leaders on the court for the team, helping the new guys that came in. Um, uh, Jamal Millis and Dush, uh, Dushko Despot, the two freshmen, and, and Reagan Bruner and and. Uh, uh, Dylan Mozak, helping those guys just understand what the program's to be about. And, and then Contrell King and, and Dylan Sparkman, you know, just a year older, and, and Brandon Snow, who's been here for three years with me. That's Guys get along really well. Guys like to compete against one another. And so that's why this team's going to continue to get better and better as we go along. I know last year you had some really strong leaders, and, um, you know, Michael Fuquede and uh, Jermaine Love Roberts, just to name two. Yep. Um, can you just talk about your senior class this year and, uh, you know, maybe some of their leadership that they're bringing right. uh, onto the court? I think uh, Wes Dawson's, I guess, would be our emotional leader. He just plays hard. Um, some things he does doesn't show up in the box where he'll guard the other team's best player, and he leads by example in practice. He'll get vocal when he needs to. Uh, Kevin Pettiford's came back in really good shape and, and has really been pushing this year. He's, he's uh, just just watching practice and winning every sprint and just pushing himself. He's, he's leading. Um, uh, Kyle Gupton's a quiet kid that just goes out there and does his business and, and just a good kid and takes care of everything that needs to get done. Chase Brinkley's a, a I guess more of the vocal guy. He can he he can talk to the guys and get them where they need to be, and and so uh, those guys have set the set the tone for this team that's here right now. You know, uh, you just yeah, you just said that you know you have a lot of new faces on this uh, ball team than you know than the last year. And I was wondering, as a coach, what are some of the challenges you know of of coaching you know so-called new faces right. on a, on a basketball team? I think the good thing is when you got good seniors and juniors and sophomores that have been here, those guys can help lead. You know, it's it's different than Coach Oletsky coming in, he's got 10 new faces, he's coached them all, but well, we've only got four or five where the other six or seven can help with the new guys. And, and so um, guys have questions, they can come to the coaching staff, but they can also go to their teammates because the teammates understand what's to be expected. And so I think that's where we're getting better um, with the program, building things where it needs to get to. But, uh, you know, it's, it's fun. It's watching these guys grow up and from where they were back at the beginning of school till now, it's, it's, been, uh, it's been really fun to watch. Um, you know, going back to the conference, GLVC conference here, um, you know, last year it was a real, really tough conference, and this year I'm sure it's going to be the same. Can you just give me your overall thoughts of the conference this year? Yeah, I, I think top to bottom it's, it's, it's even tougher than it has been. Um, Adam McKendry into the conference, uh, every night's a challenge. It doesn't matter who you're playing. There's, if you go through the standings right now, a lot of teams are only one loss or no losses right now. we got four or five teams in the top 25 again. So, uh, you know, we'll start with Quincy here in a couple of weeks, first conference game before Christmas, and the rest will be after. So uh, we'll really get focused in the conference after Christmas break. We'll get ready for Quincy here coming up in the next week and, and uh, really excited for what this uh, conference season has in store for us. 
you know, as a head coach, do you get nervous over breaks? I mean, uh, <laughs> do you get like cautious on your players? And uh, you know, are you? I mean, are you stressing to them? Hey, you know, you you know, stay focused, stay in shape. Yeah, no, I think you have to. We we just had four days off for Thanksgiving, and it's there's a fine line there because you want guys, you know, to go home, be with their families, enjoy, and, and get rested and recuperated. But there's also coming back and trying to get turned around to play a game really quick. Um, but our guys have done a good job and give them a little bit of a break and, and they've come back ready to go and, and, and everybody needs that. Players and coaches both just need that three or four days away just to get, be with their families and friends and, and get rested up and ready to go. You know, looking at your upcoming schedule, um, you know, you're facing some, you know, some, some tough opponents. Right. You know, what are some of your uh, keys, you know, you know, for a, you know, for a victory in the near future. Sure. I think our, our defensively has got to be our priority. That's where we got really good in the second semester last year. So if we got to get where we can guard the basketball one-on-one. -on -one. Um, we can stop the basketball. We've been able to take teams out of what they want to do, but it comes down to guarding your man one-on-one. -on -one. Um, being able to block out, stopping the other team's second chance uh, points. And then offensively, we just keep, need to keep pushing the ball and taking care of the basketball, take good shots. Um, we got a lot of guys that can score the basketball. Um, so if we can get a good shot down the court every time, I'll feel happy with uh, the outcome. You know, Coach, uh, quickly, can you just give me your overall thoughts of your uh, starting five so far this season and possibly your bench and the role that your bench plays? Yeah, I think, I mean, starting lives change pretty much game to game right now. It's, it's one of those things we tell our guys you're being evaluated every minute. And so if you don't come in ready to practice, somebody's right there to, behind you to beat you out. And I think that's the, the strength of this team. We've got 12 guys that all can play. And uh, if you don't bring it for practice or games or what it may be, somebody's right there to pass you by. So I think our depth of our team is really strong. Um, we don't really have five guys that are going to start. You got we got 12 guys that are going to play for us, and uh, that's kind of nice knowing if somebody's struggling, you got somebody else right behind them that's ready to play, and, and they cherish the opportunity. I mean, uh, I know that you know a lot of focus on you as a head coach and also the players who actually play, but can you know can you just give the audience the, uh, your overall thoughts of your uh, you know of your assistant coaches that you have? Yeah, I mean. I'm very fortunate that uh, Coach Harmon's with me, who was uh, with me at Evansville, uh, and he's been coaching for three or four years to, to be here, back here with me. And then um, I've actually got my father helping out this year. That's a 30, 30 year, 34 plus years of high school coaching experience to come in. And I guess nobody better that with trust and loyalty to have is your father, and he's had a lot of success. So I've got great guys around me, um, the 12 players, the three coaches, training staff, everybody that we've got, uh, we're very fortunate. Um, you know. Can you just give me your thoughts about, you know, actually coaching uh, alongside you, uh, your dad? <laughs> it's different. <laughs> I, you know, it's one of those things I played for my dad for, in high school, but actually now it's one of those things I'm telling him what to do and being in charge of him. It's, it's, it's fun, but, uh, you know, even when he, before he helped out, he was always giving me notes and pointers. And so having him right there next to me on the bench or in practice every day, somebody else, you, you got uh, him and Coach Harmon both to trust and put a lot of, I put a lot of trust into to help us out. Overall, uh, last question, what's your overall um, goal this season, you know, as a team? I think it's just to get better each day. I mean, you take last season, we wanted to try to build off of it, and, and uh, we've, we've kind of stayed stagnant. We need to go forward and, and take this program and go from where we were last year and keep getting better. And As long as we get better each day in practice, I think you'll see this team a lot like last year as we get going, um, especially in conference play, we'll get a lot better and, and keep this thing going forward. Well, Coach, good luck, uh, for, you know, throughout the remainder of the season. I appreciate it. Thanks a lot. For more information on uh, Coach Ben Wersba's basketball team, men's basketball team here at UIS, you can always check out the UIS Athletics homepage at UIS dot, or actually UISPrairieStars.com. I'm your host, Michael Watson. Until next time, I'll see you later.